Question 16 reads, several values of the function f are shown above. The function g is defined by g of x is equal to f of 3x plus 1. What is the value of g of 2? So in this question, we're being presented with the two functions f and g. For f, we're given an xy chart that helps us figure out what kind of output we get when we put in a certain input. And then for g, we're explicitly given the formula of the function. So it's two different ways to represent the information for these two functions. But let's just get right down to it. What is the question here? We want to know the value of g of 2. So if you're being asked to find the value of g of 2, under any normal circumstance, you just go to the g rule and put a 2 everywhere you see an x. Well, that's exactly what we're going to do. I'm going to go to the g rule and put a 2 everywhere I see an x and not worry about anything else for now. So I'll get an f and just keep it there. 3 times 2 plus 1. There, so I've gone to the g rule and put a 2 everywhere I see an x. Now let's simplify. We know what 3 times 2 plus 1 is. 6 plus 1 is 7. So you get g of 2 is equal to f of 7. Well, we have enough information to find f of 7. We can just go to this chart here. The x column says what are we putting in as the input, and the f of x column will give us the output. So the input is 7, so we'll go down to 7 in the chart, and it tells us that f of 7 is equal to negative 5. So f of 7 equals negative 5. So we've gone from g of 2, put it into the g rule, got out that it's a number um, that needs to be plugged into the f rule, used the chart to find f of 7, and the answer is negative 5. So the correct answer is a, negative 5. And that's how you do it. Please continue to check out more Mindfish videos.